Hi guys, today I'm saying hello with Yudita. Yudita is my ex classmate and we have met next to her closet after 13 years. So it was very interesting, it was very exciting and we have decided that we're gonna show you the ways how to flatter long torso body. So let's jump into this video. If you have longer torso, it is important to pay attention to the length of your top. This top is loose fitted, it is long, but the crotch area is still visible and also it is in white color. It makes her torso appear even longer and this uh, upper part of her body even bigger. Since Yudita has very tiny waist, let's see how we can upgrade this look to flatter her silhouette. Of the whole space of this look. Is it clear? <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, uh, we have placed a hat, which is a perfect way to draw attention to the upper part and beautiful eyes. <laughs> and we are finishing off this look with crossbody bag, which again divides her upper part in more sections. Uh, the shirt is good because it is uh, concealing the back, so it's not really visible how long her torso is. If you did, I would have to go to the meeting or something to look a little bit more formal, then she can just swap the shoes. Let me show you. Uh, what I like about these shoes, uh, because they are low bound shoes, it means that they elongate her legs even more. The hemline of the blouse is finishing on the widest part. It's not flattering for Yudita. And for this skirt, I feel that you have to go either with a little bit shorter top or a little bit longer. So let's see how we can upgrade this look. So, in this case, I have placed the top a little bit higher so that the hemline of the top does not cut her at the widest part. And I have added this white belt just to emphasize her waist and also it breaks up her torso, which is great. And I have replaced that skirt to this plain pencil skirt because I feel that it is a right match to balance out all the details. This crochy top and then this white belt and then patent shoes. are good however the contrasting colors cuts off her silhouette and that's why she appears shorter and also this empire top which is not actually very visible but uh, it elongates her torso even more let's see how we can upgrade this look So, if you are wearing jeans, it is important that you would pay attention to the rise of the jeans. 
The best pair of jeans are high-rise or mid-rise because, of course, they elongate the legs. However, it is important that you would conceal the back so it's not visible where your legs start. And the long sweater creates long vertical panels on the sides. And with the comparison with the rise and the hemline of the sweater, the legs appear longer. This is what we want. In this case, she is wearing short jacket, which is good. It emphasizes her tiny waist. However, in this combination, this pencil skirt emphasizes her curves as well. So the distance between the widest parts, I mean the hips and her tiny waist is visible. And since this distance is quite long, it looks disproportionate. So let's see how we can upgrade this look and also I don't like black color on Yudita. I don't. It is already a little bit better, but I want to add more colors. This pleated skirt conceals the curves and it is becoming gradually wider. So there is no harsh difference between the tiny waist and wider hips. Another point that with this longer blazer, we are creating long vertical panels on the sides, but it's not overwhelming on her frame because we are adding the belt and belt emphasizes the tiniest part of her body. This pattern distracts and when you are looking into this whole outfit, you are not even considering about the proportions here because she looks stunning, beautiful, fresh. Oh, by the way, to balance out the volume of the top and the skirt, we are adding high heels. Perfect. So I like this dress because of several things. The V-neck is flattering and drape material on the sides. However, since the fabric is uh, this clingy cotton fabric, it is very tight fitting and the distance between her tiniest waist and widest hips is visible, especially from the back because it is totally plain. It doesn't have any draping. So let's see how we can upgrade this look. The shirt on top conceals the actual waist and we are creating her waist, I mean creating her waist a little bit lower than her natural waist. That's why the distance between her hips and her waist becomes a little bit shorter. Also, we rolled up the sleeves, so we, we have uh, the knots and the sleeves in the same line, which is flattering. And also, we got longer shirts in the back, so it again conceals the waist and uh, the distance is not so visible. For the shoes, we have left the same sandals because uh, it's quite a good option. It blends in with the legs, so it elongates the legs. And just to have more fun, we added this black back. the top takes up I think that probably 60% of whole outfit that's why we have to upgrade this look and create a little bit more flattering let's see how we can do that let's see. quite an easy upgrade on this look we just tucked in the blouse and added a belt. So we have created additional one, two, three, 
three horizontal lines that are dividing her torso. Also, what I like about this skirt that it has this panel on the top of the skirt, so it again creates one more additional horizontal line, which is good in this case. And we are keeping the same shoes because they are low bam shoes, they elongate the legs, that's why we are keeping those shoes. Vivid colors and patterns is a good way to camouflage. However, you have to pay attention to the whole picture. Since this vivid color blouse is very slouchy and also it's batwing and again it is very long, it draws attention to long torso even more. This might be solved by placing a belt and we did that with the skirt, it's quite a nice combination, but let's see how it is possible to upgrade this look and to flatter Yurita's shape. What is great about this outfit is that the color matching top and bottom elongates her body. Second of all, the vivid color pattern distracts the eye. Third, we are emphasizing her beautiful tiny waist with this belt. And fourth, we added bright color shoes just to add more fun to this look. So that was all what we wanted to share with you today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you got inspiration and thank you, Yudita, for joining this project and letting us to see what you got in your wardrobe. And guys, see you next time very soon. Goodbye! Bye.